Good morning, SK. Good morning, SK. Welcome back, SK. Good morning, South. Good morning, SK. I'm Alex. And I'm Emma. Happy almost International Women's Day. Women's Day isn't until Sunday, but we can't have an episode during the weekend. That's true, but we'll talk more about that later. Alex, will you start us off with some news? Of course. In general news, next week the yearbook staff will be taking group photos during club time, in addition to the group pictures. You can also submit pictures of club events throughout the school year. This time of year is when state testing takes place. All sophomores will be testing in their ELA classes this month. Check with your teachers for specific dates. Juniors will be testing March, March 16th and 24th. You should receive passes with your specific time soon. And seniors will be testing March 11th and March 13th during the first block. Although if you are a junior or a senior and are unsure about whether you need to take this exam or not, check with Ms. Wood in the library. Any lost and found items not collected from the security office by the end of the day today will be donated to charity. If you still haven't got your team or er, if you still haven't got your class ring or letterman jacket, Jostens will be here during lunches today for ordering. The ASVAB will be offered here at SK on the 25th of this month. Come to the Cure Center to sign up as soon as possible, seeing as openings are limited. You will need your own transportation home. Speaking of transportation, for those of you who drive, please do not park on campus without a parking permit. This goes for all spring athletes as well as those who attend early morning workouts or need a spot for an overnight field trip. Please be mindful so that there is no obstruction towards buses or staff parking. If you have any questions, talk to security. If possible, they may sell more passes this semester. Be sure to check WTV for more updates. And don't forget that the freshman class will be hosting a free movie night next Friday on the 13th. Come watch the original Ghostbusters in Stage 2 at 6. Certain concessions will be available for purchase, so come and support the freshman class. Hey Emma, I got a question. Do you know what the campaign theme for International Women's Day is this year? I'm so glad you asked. Do you have a female in your life worth celebrating? Have you ever heard of International Women's Day? March 8th is the day to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women globally. Three colors signify IWD. Purple for justice and dignity, green for hope, and white for purity. The first gathering was over a century ago in 1911. This year's campaign is to be hashtag each for equal, where we can actively choose to challenge stereotypes, fight bias, broaden perceptions, improve situations, and celebrate women's achievements. So let's be the movement. If you're one to use social media, strike the pose by putting your arms out in front to motivate others. Don't forget to wear your colors. One person who proved women can do anything they set their minds to was the Rosalind P. Walter, aka First Rosie the Riveter. Moving on into club news, the clubs mean today are IB Action, Hiking, and Build as a Unity. And on Monday, Magic of the Gathering, Philosophy, Wolf Howl Journalism, ASL, National Honor Society, STEM, Green Team, and Chase's Color will meet. The hiking club has moved their meeting place to the Career Center. If you plan on running for club president, this is a mandatory meeting that you have to attend. National Honor Society introduction ceremony will be Monday right after school in room 202C. Please be on time. In sports, the Spring Crew Parents and Rowers Info Meeting will be held Monday the 9th at 6 in Stage 2. The Boys Swim Banquet will be next Thursday the 12th from 6 to 7.30 in the Commons. Freshmen and sophomores are encouraged to bring drinks, while juniors and seniors are encouraged to bring dessert. Seniors, listen up. We've got some news for you. Two scholarships are due today. The SK Fire Rescue Volunteer Scholarship and the Seattle Association of Black Journalists Scholarship. The Eastern Star and Masonic Family Rust Scholarship will be due March 18th, while the Kitsap Audubon Society has three available scholarships due the 21st. The Maynard Lundberg Scholarship is now available for one senior boy and girl athlete. This is a $4,000 scholarship over four years. See the Career Center for more info. Applications are due to the Career Center by the 1st of May. For any senior artists, the Peninsula Art League will be setting up portfolio, portfolio reviews for this scholarship soon. Applica applicants must be on pursuing must plan on pursuing art education and provide five to ten art samples. Port Orchard Rotary Scholarships are now open. The following will be due by May 1st. 
you may pick up copies from the Career Center. The West Bay Auto Part Technical and Educational Scholarship offers a $2,000 award. The Gray Chevrolet Memorial Scholarship offers two of these $2,000 awards. Rotary Foundation Scholarship offers five of these $2,000 awards as well. The Dan Ford A. Moore Scholarship offers one $2,000 award for any er, students pursuing a four-year mechanical engineering degree. Before we end today's show, we'd like to introduce some special guests. I am Sir Harry, a knight of this wonderful kingdom, and with me is Princess Winifred. Yes, and we welcome you all to attend the opening night of the winter musical, Once Upon a Mattress. It's so wonderful. It's about a prince... And his overbearing mother. <sighs> Shush now, Harry. It's about the prince trying to find a bride, and if I'm lucky enough, it might be me. Though I'm not sure how a mattress figures into it. Worry not, my lady. Though for those out there wanting to attend, the play is tonight at 7. And tomorrow at 2 and 7, and Sunday at 2 as well. Bring your whole family, for this is a wonderful tale. Just remember, it's $10 for adults and $7 for everyone else at the door. His Majesty must finance all this somehow. How true, Sir Harry. Now, don't miss out, and if you'll excuse me, I just must know how this whole studio works. Wait, Princess! Be sure and come to see them in their amazing production. That's all we have for today. Have a great weekend, Sal.